everybody scorpion here so as y'all know uh -huh, or you might know i'm at dig stock so uh yesterday was pretty eventful for me um got off work at six in the morning took a nap drove two and a half three hours down to dig stock and spent a few hours on my feet because i didn't get here till like four i think we were done at like eight thirty nine o'clock something like that uh a lot of walking a lot of standing um, last event for the nights, climbing around on your hands and feet with a, uh, little, uh, pinpointer trying to find some stuff in the grass for like an hour. So, woke up today when I finally was able to go to sleep, uh, not feeling the best and slept till like two, three o'clock, went and got something to eat, come back to the hotel. Still trying to work some of the soreness out of me. Um, in case y'all don't know, I'm old and broken. But I figure since I'm here, because I do have serious problems um, holding still and not doing anything, I have to kind of move back and forth between doing stuff and not doing stuff, kind of at my will. Um, I had some stuff in the back of the truck. So this is an old handheld scanner. So I figure we'll tear some stuff apart and see what we got. Y'all stick around. Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. Alright, so this is United, a United, United, wow, uh, made in the Philippines, gives you just power supply information and all here, um, FCC ID, anything with a, having to do with radio, is supposed to have the FCC, uh, is that Bearcat? Yeah, so it's United and Bearcat, there's a closer look at the, the screen and all. So this thing's pretty heavy. See that battery pack so bad the wires don't come off of it. Got all kinds of junk on my bit. May not go on there, y'all. I may have to do this by hand. Yep. So all my stuff is uh still in the truck. <clears throat> Cause the last time I was working, I got the phone call that somebody, my wife had been in a car crash. I had to throw it all in the truck real quick and I haven't been able to take it out since then, so I found a drill that was laying back there getting rained on, and it was raining and windy and cold today, so that uh, kind of made me not want to go out and do anything. So... Not seeing any more screws anywhere. You'd think there'd be some somewhere. Ah, well, she just pulls apart. Alright, so it looks like it's back here might have a little bit of copper in it. Toss that over in number two. all kinds of little goodies in here we got a couple IC chips a few little wires crystal oscillator a little roll of copper if I can keep this under the camera I'm working with an 
angle I'm not used to working with here. my special bits with me so that looks like it should just come on out of there Decent size flat pack in the back there. I'm gonna get me one of these coffee cup hotel hotel coffee cups they leave you in your room. I put all these screws in so I can keep up with them and take them back home with me. Definitely have plenty of screws in it. Nowadays it'd just be little plastic clips holding it in place. So I think that's it. Let's see if it'll come out now. Sitting on the floor, don't your ass hurt? <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. Alright, so I got the rest of the screws out there. So as you can see, we got a flat pack on the back of this. First board's got another IC chip, an IC chip. Gotta get it in the camera, get it in the camera. That's shred, but we got a little bit of wire we can take off. Got a couple IC chips here. Two crystal oscillators. <clears throat> the question is, what's underneath these buttons? That's probably silver. So that's worth, should be enough to be worth trying to take off of there. I might get around to it one day. That switch has probably got a little silver tab in it too. So that's pretty much it not a whole lot in it but they built stuff a lot better back then than they do nowadays that's for sure see you next time gopro stop recording